So Dave's Gourmet reached out to your girl and gave me an update about the situation between them and Chef P, aka Veronica Shaw, um, regarding the pink sauce. So this is what they had to say. Dave's Gourmet has adhered to the terms of agreement with Ms. Shaw. We disagree with Ms. Shaw's allegations. Dave's Gourmet has paid Chef P over $120,000 to date, and it continues to make all payments as due on time based on the terms of the contract. We've offered to reimburse Ms. Shaw for her lawyer's time to go over the terms of the, of the agreement and how it relates to the payments that were made to Ms. Shaw. She indicated that she's open to an amicable resolution of the dispute and the parties are in discussions. So there you have it. And honestly, I just feel like there's no reason that you should be struggling to pay your rent and take care of your children if you received a payout like that. Now, granted, if it were me and I um, have a business myself, you put your blood, sweat and tears and your money towards building a business and it's a lot of work. So to be honest, for me personally, I would have never accepted $120,000 as my upfront payout, but to each his own. Um, I'm not going to knock that because I don't know all of the details of how much Dave's Gourmet had to sp spend to actually make her sauce FDA approved, the um, relabeling of the product, the bottling of it, um, there was a lot of work that probably definitely had to go in it to make it um, be able to be sold in stores and safe for consumers. So I don't want to um, knock them, but me personally, I wouldn't have took, taken that payout. Um, and to me, if that wasn't sufficient enough, that is kind of on Chef P. She should have negotiated better. Also, I noticed that people are hate donating to Chef P. Yes, you heard that right. I can't believe people are taking their $5 and donating to give her hate comments, but uh, yeah. Here's one comment that really, really, really just cracks me up. You are not special. Now go let your kids know to call me daddy since I am supporting them. <laughs> Caroline, you is crazy. Um, the other one, good luck with your business. I don't care if you're a friendly person, but you deserve to get paid for your innovative product. Uh, I mean, Anonymous, did you even know what her terms of agreement were? I don't know that she's getting cheated out of anything. You should be ashamed of yourself. Please hide under a rock and go away. I'll be returning this donation to get it revoked. Also, just get a job. I'm a little offended by the just get a job part. Like being an entrepreneur is a job. I don't know why people think that it's not. Um, I just don't uh, agree with how she's handling the whole situation, but uh, she does have a job, Parker. I'm not, I'm not sure where you're coming from. Um, hi, chef. Did you figure out what FDA does yet? Perhaps you should have taken in the constructive criticism instead of rejecting it and becoming arrogant and condescending. I only donated to type this comment. You are not special. <laughs> Jeremy's crazy as hell. You funny. Um, so, so far, as of uh, today, August 30th, she has raised $25,364 out of her $100,000 goal. Um, I wouldn't have gave her a damn dime. You guys are crazy for hate donating because honestly, um, right now, off of y'all just giving her $5 just to say something rude, she's gotten $25K. So she's not really caring probably that y'all are leaving her this hate on her GoFundMe. I wouldn't give her a damn dime. You could use, leave those com uh, comments on social media and different platforms. There's no need to go donate your hard on earned money to leave this mon woman hate. I'm not understanding that. Um, so to date, she still has the post removed that she originally had up on Instagram. They're totally gone from what I can see. Um, but this GoFundMe seems to be going strong. Will you be donating? Night.